Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with an E92 335i for another feature. Of course, this is a, well, very much so track orientated build. Crazy thing, I've uh, got methanol injection running 580 brake horsepower with that on, 550 when it's turned off. Set of hybrid turbos, of course, this is the twin turbo, the M54, and it's also got a fully built engine. It's, it's kind of like a bit of a, an E92 M3 GTS-esque build. You can see the fixed wing, the obviously orange wrap. Of course, we are joined with Ben, the owner. We'll introduce him very shortly. He can run us through basically what he's done to it before we go out for a spin. Okay, we're joined now with Ben, the owner of the car, mate. Thank you so much for bringing this down today. I did think it was an M3 GTS at first. <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. I like the um, the theme behind it. It looks really, really smart. Yeah, Making yeah. some good power as well. It is, uh, it is, yeah. About 550 brake standard, mm -hmm. and then we've got the water mess just to yeah. predominantly keep it a bit cooler around track, but yeah. of course it gives it a little bit of a bump. Yeah, so just under 600 brake, 5, 580 yeah. to be exact. But yeah. Uh, as I said, fully forged engine as well. Yeah, forged engine, yep. 17T hybrid turbos, um, upgraded intercooler, radiator, oil cooling. Yeah. As these suffer quite a lot with uh, heat and then limited slip diff. Meister R suspension, mm -hmm. um, corner weighted and geo set up by Regal Autosport. Yeah. As you could probably see, some Nankang AR1 tyres. Yeah. Um, Very cool. I haven't Spirit yet upgraded wheels. the brakes necessarily too much. Yeah. So we've gone with Alcon discs and Ferrari mm -hmm. DS 2500 pads, yep. which, to be honest, suffice. And then a bit of aero. Yeah. I love these canards at the front. <laughs> they are cool. And then obviously fixed wing on the back, fixed reminiscent wing on the back. of the, uh, yeah. the GTS. To be fair, you nailed it with this wrap. Like it's, it, yeah, it's, it's just uh, cool. <laughs> it, was a, it was a bit of a, a project with a friend of mine. Mm. Um, he uh, he owns LH Developments locally, mm -hmm. and here and there on the weekends would be uh, tinkering with it and yeah. trying to get it to look to the Inspire GTS. The Spiri wheels, we'll see as well as I said. Lightweight wheels, yeah. In uh, like a goldy bronze, which looks really smart against the the orange. Using it as a bit of a platform in comparison mm. to say an M3, mm. uh, yeah, it needs uh, a lot of upgrades. Yeah. Uh, again, yeah. suspension M3 upgraded uh, uh, mm -hmm. wishbones and everything else. Yeah, I suppose it's quite a heavy car, isn't it? Uh, so. so when it was corner weighted, it came back at 1600 kg. Okay, yeah. So it's not yeah. the lightest, yeah. not the heaviest, but with their setup and the mm. geo, and the yeah. corner waiting, it's, it's it's pretty good round track. Yeah, but obviously inside as well. One cool thing about this car is it's manual. Yes, which is yes. pretty unique. So, uh, this is actually my third 335i. I've always mm -hmm. been a, a BMW fan. Nice. Um, currently got a G80 M3 as well as, oh, as a daily. Oh, that, brilliant. That's also orange. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. But yeah. Cooler works uh, shifter there. Yeah. Um, with the seats, I've got them custom fabricated, so they're a bit lower. I'm six yeah. foot five, so with the helmet on, yeah, you need them true. a bit a bit lower. <laughs> um, half cage just for a bit of safety. Try to keep cool. it as a bit of a club sport. Still has uh, aircon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still yeah. has uh, cruise yeah. control. All the door for the Nurburgring trips. Lovely. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been out in a few of these. They are absolute monsters, and the fact that this is a manual is just uh, wow, doubly cool. So I think that's pretty much everything. I can feel a few drops of rain, so hopefully that <laughs> stays away, seeing as we're on AR1s. Um, yeah, get it fired up and, uh, and go for a spin. Cool stuff. Was it always an option? So, yeah, yeah I, I had a, this is my third, so I had two automatics and you know, it's the previous generation, it's a 2007 car, the, the gearbox gear changing, even if you get it mapped by XHP, it's, it's not as quick as yeah. you'd like it to be. And having manual, it's relatively rare, you don't mm. tend to see too many manual. Yeah. <laughs> that feels so much faster than 580, you know. 
Wow. I think it's the talk. Yeah. My friends all say, you know, it's the third gear that really kicks in. And... I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's quite a long gear as well, so it, it just winds all the way up. Yeah, yeah, you need to, especially on track, you need to utilise the torque. <laughs> the brakes are good. They're all right, yeah, yeah. considering it's uh, upgraded out on this and yeah. pads, there's always room for better, right? Yeah. But as my first track go, track car goes, it's, uh, it's been a good platform to yeah, learn from. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, third gear is amazing. It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> and the grip, I mean, the limited slip diff, traction control's completely off. Yeah. And the way it grips is just, it is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> so much theatre. It's, yeah, it's the hustle and bustle of all the yeah. mechanics working and, mm. you know, I've, I've, in fact, some of the track days I've taken the G80. It's nice and it's refined, it's a, a fantastic car, very capable. Yeah. And then halfway through, because of course it's my local in Thruxton, yeah. I'll swap it round to this. Oh, I love it. You get both the experiences. Yeah, for sure. People tend to look at you like, didn't you just have an orange car? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> orange is my thing, I don't know. That looks awesome. <laughs> but I know this is a very bumpy road, but it rides it rides the road really well. My star and their suspension, honestly, is it's, it's yeah. a good alternative. It's not the most expensive, don't get me wrong. You know, everyone strives to get Nitron at some point in their life, but considering that you can uh, adjust it three-way and uh, how they react to certain corners and bumps and it's a good suspension. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. the benefit of having turbo right as a track car. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a machine. <laughs> it's an absolute machine. It's the grip as well, especially around the corners. Yeah. I mean, you have to start mucking around with the uh, suspension components and, yeah, of course, yeah. upgrading the mounts and mm -hmm. getting it appropriately set up because prior to getting Regal Autosport to put that geo on it, it, yeah. it used to be all over the place, um, even with the limited slip diff. Yeah. And then after they did that, you could actually get yeah. some straight lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's also accelerating out the corners. It does pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, like um, not once you've had to kind of like correct it. It's yeah, it's not a you know like a G80 electronic limit slip diff as yeah. you've experienced before with some of your own cars. But mm -hmm. having that mechanical uh, diff and knowing where the car is and how it reacts to certain motions, it's uh, it's an eye opener. Yeah. so much for uh, for coming down and, and taking me out on it. No worries and uh, yeah, pleasure Absolutely. to meet you Luke. Yeah, no, and, and you. I'm sure we'll get the G80 on sometime. That'd be really cool. Yeah, let's, uh, 
Let's get some tuning done to that, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, of course, if you guys do want to learn more about the build and all the other bits and bobs that Ben gets up to, of course, I will leave his Instagram link down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures and steps to come.